to LaGuardia. I wanted to take a brief moment to introduce a very special passenger. On board with us today is my dad. What people got it? My dad flew in from Trinidad and Tobago to visit me for a couple days in Houston before heading back home to LaGuardia. I dropped him to the airport and I told him I was going to Albuquerque today. Surprise! <laughs> She tripped me. She went to New Mexico. She did trip you. Daddy, I wanted to express my heartfelt gratitude for your unwavering support. Your belief in me has been the wind beneath my wings. I couldn't have come this far without you, and thank you for always being present in my life. Thank you. I hope you enjoy this flight as much as I enjoy having you on board. I try not to tell. <laughs> thank you. On behalf of me and my entire crew, I'd like to thank you all for flying with us today. And fun fact, my dad actually wanted me to be a doctor. Now that's the reason I played that, man. All that love for her dad. And even young, she chose her own direction. Her dad wanted her to be a doctor. She chose to be a pilot. So she decided a long time ago she was going to be independent. But you never know that she's an independent one. Her dad is Trinidad, her dad is Trinidadian, which means that she's Trinidadian as well. But guess what? She spent a lot of time in the United States. Got a clip right here, man, on Miss Jackson, uh, Nelly ex-girlfriend, man, trying to throw salt on his name. But I want you to see how she ended up losing. Like, this was Nelly girl, man. Nelly might have wiped her up. They were Nelly girl. Probably not. They were off and on all the time. Probably not. But she was in the position to try to win the wife position, right? She was in the position, man. Like, she should have been on a mission to win the wife position. But here's what she was doing instead. Y'all peep game on this foolish man. This, they're going to blow y'all mind, bro. Or have this make-believe story. I left. I left because I wanted initially, I guess, space to see maybe will the space bring us back together or do I need this space because I just need to rip off that band-aid. So, and initially I wanted the space or the break to rip that, that band-aid off. So, but no, like, no ill will, nothing bad. Just sometimes people don't work out. People grow apart. Like sometimes one person might want to be still in the situation and the other person is like, this isn't working. It happens, you know? So. But no, like no ill will, nothing bad. Just sometimes people don't work out. People grow apart. Like sometimes one person might want to be still in the situation and the other person is like, this isn't working. It happens, you know? Right, it just didn't work out. <laughs> now she won't say this, but she's insinuating that she wanted to be out of it, but Nelly still wanted to be in it. Think about it now. She's saying she's the person who left. Now, she won't come out and say that directly because then if that shit ain't true, Nelly probably going to respond to it. Now, I want y'all to think about how crazy she sound. She broke up with the man to see if the space would bring them back together. But you see, man, you see, when you hear this woman talking, bro, you hear a woman saying that I broke up with this man to play an emotional game she shit tested him. She's saying it. She's explaining what she did, but that's the name of it. This ain't nothing but a shit test, man. This your, this your average common shit test right here. I'm going to leave to show you that I don't need you and watch you come running back. But Nelly didn't come running back. You know what happened? Ashanti slid right on in. And now Ashanti got the ring. She got the baby. She got the Nelly. And now here this woman is acting like she don't feel no kind of way about it. Peep gang. Wait a minute. Wait, hold, hold up, hold up. First you say you were trying to see if the space would make y'all come back together or 
if the space was needed for you to rip the Band-Aid off. Now you come back and say, oh, wait a minute now. Initially, I wanted the space to, 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 to rip the Band-Aid off. So what happened to the other part? I thought you were trying to see the space to make y'all come back together. When a woman is talking, let me tell y'all something about a woman, bro. When a woman is talking, she can't hear the foolishness that's about to come out of her mouth. She only knows it's foolish when she hears it. Now, that makes sense for you to know it's foolishness. When, I mean, you know damn near everything she say going to be foolishness. But for you as a man to hear it and say, that's foolishness. She can't determine that while it's in her head. It's got to come out. And then when it come out, she's going to stand behind it because she doesn't even know it's foolishness. So by the time she figures out it's foolishness, you have already responded in a way that makes her feel foolish. That's why a woman will complain about you always trying to make her sound dumb or make her, you know, make her have blonde moments or make it seem like she can't comprehend then you saying it's because she can't. You have to create a special language to talk to a woman about the shit you want to talk to her about because you're talking man talk and she don't know it. A father don't teach his daughter man talk. He teach her how to treat a man and how she's supposed to be treated by one or how to, how to treat a man to get the treatment she, she want from a man or supposed to get anyway. Right. It just didn't work out. <laughs> Now, she won't say this, but she's insinuating that she wanted to be out of it, but Nelly still wanted to be in it. Think about it now. She's saying she's the person who left. Now, she won't come out and say that directly, because then if that shit ain't true, Nelly probably going to respond to it. And either that or Shanti going to respond to it. No, just with a subtle tweet or something like that. But she is trying to insinuate that. And listen. Women will take that insinuation to mean that Nelly wants to still be in the situation. Well, let me tell you something. Mighty funny, he wants to still be in the situation. And he got a wife and a kid now. And she, and she's single. This chick right here single. She ain't got no man. Let me tell y'all something. This woman going to forever regret. Because she'll never have an opportunity to get a man on that level again. That was her last opportunity. You know what? This is Ashanti's last opportunity. You know what Ashanti did when she realized, man, that, that she had aged out? She circled the block and ran home the nails. Right? She circled the block, ran home the nails. Nail probably ready to sit down, man. Nail by 50. He probably ready to sit down, too. And she flipped the block and ran home the nails. Didn't bring no babies with her. So she ran home the nails. This chick right here. She think she she thought that she was more valuable than she was. Here's the thing, man. When you got two women that are equal on levels of beauty and age and all of that, when all of the when all the the, the other outside factors or the variables that these women have are very similar, history together trumps what it, it just automatically makes this the new woman lose. You know what I'm saying? If there's a woman that you have history with, and then there's a woman that you know you just this is your first first interaction. You that woman gonna lose, man. If you got any good report with the woman you have history with, you know what I'm saying? It's just, she just gonna lose, and so she didn't know that, and so she. It's the same thing with a man, bro. You crazy to compete with a woman when she interested in a man that she already been with before. Let me tell you the difference. A woman can be with you, and want to be with you, but she can have interest in a man that she she was with before. With you, is she wants to see what can happen with you. With him, she regrets leaving and she want to go back and see if they can pick up where they left off. So let me tell y'all something about a woman that circled back to a man so we won't always be looking at Nelly like he's some type of sucker or something. When a woman circled back to a man, she's at the point where she's just happy that she didn't add on no baggage. Don't make that man not want her anymore. Because I said before, Nelly wasn't going to be with no, he, he wasn't going to wind up with no, uh, with no no single mom or shunty. It's just hard for me to believe that Nelly was going to end up with her if she was already a single mom. And people say, well, he got kids too. Yeah, so? He a man, she a woman. That's simple. They're not the same. So when you hear a chick talk, man, you just got to understand, man, these chicks be, they know when they be the messed up, bro. <laughs> but man talk, man, woman don't understand that. So you hear her talking, she's trying to save face now. Wait a minute. 
No, I didn't want us to be together. I just wanted to rip the Band-Aid off. You don't take a break when you want to rip the Band-Aid off. You break the hell up. You see what I mean? You don't take a break from a relationship when you want it to be over. You just end it. You dig what I'm saying? Two people who are married and then they separate, they ain't real about that shit till they legally separate. When they legally separate, they real about it. They ready to do it. 